this lesson is all about inputs. The most common direct inputs are labour, which are humans, energy, raw materials such as eggs or timber, machinery or technology, which are used in the operations process. Now if we look at labour first, labour is a very important element in the operations process. It's used for sourcing materials because we need to get that timber to our factory. We need to get our eggs and our milk if we're making a food product. Our infantry management. Quite often we get our raw materials to the factory, but they're not ready for production. So we need to store those materials. That is a crucial element in this because we don't want it to get damaged before it's used for production. Humans are in charge of the quality management. They've got to make sure that these products are 100% in quality. Consumers are very fussy about products. They provide technical support. Technical support may be for their end consumer. If I buy a mobile phone, I may have difficulty with that mobile phone and I'll expect to be able to ring the business and speak to a human about that product. Obviously humans are involved in the production at, di at different um, stages. And lastly, they need to get that product out to the consumer through distribution. Now energy. Energy or electricity is a very important input in the operations process. And we take it for granted. We don't always see that energy would be involved. However, it is used to deliver the inputs. Inputs are delivered by trucks, by ships, by planes, by trains, and all of these elements need electricity. Energy is used to transform the inputs. The big machinery and the technology that we use uses a lot of energy. Therefore, the business needs to obtain, obtain a very good relationship with their energy supplier so that they are reducing the amount that they spend on energy but they're also maximising their profit. And energy is also used to distribute the product to the consumer. 